trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you with the new passion fruit and flax collection from She Sent It. I have most of the items, I don't have two things, but I have a lot of it. So I'm gonna show you what I got and then show you a little demo of certain parts. So let's get into it. The star of the show, I wanna say, I mean, this is just such an extraordinary product and it's kind of like the first of its kind for me. So if you've been using activated charcoal stuff on natural hair or for natural hair, definitely let me know. But we have this passion fruit and flax charcoal detox, scalp detox, but it says you can use it for scalp and hair. It basically just says apply it mostly to the scalp, but also put it on the hair and then leave it in for three minutes. So I left it in for a bit more than three minutes just because it was working so amazing and my hair just felt so amazing. I had to get on Instagram and tell you guys about it. But after rinsing, my hair was still soft, my curls were still popping, my hair was moisturized. This has amazing slip, which is interesting for a cleanser. Like, you can definitely detangle with this. And it's like a cream, so it's not messy at all, easy to rinse, no stress on your bathroom pipes or anything. You can see, first of all, it's a pretty solid cream, it's not runny or anything. This is like a bit of the texture. <laughs> I actually loved it a lot. Like, there's nothing grainy in it, nothing... The mess, it's kind of like a light, moisturizing, mess-free clay treatment. Because my curls were popping on the end too. Not Maybe not quite as much as with a clay treatment, but definitely more than with a regular shampoo or, you know, treatment. yeah I was loving it and I'll definitely be repurchasing it I loved it so my hair was moisturized the slip was amazing I would definitely say you could detangle with it um, my curls were popping like it did clump my curls my scalp felt clean and it was really dirty my hair was really dirty before and everything was clean after so it's like a one-stop shop like I didn't even feel like I had to deep condition or condition after but of course this was just my first product in the line and I went on to use more after that so let's continue <laughs> Next, I use this treatment, this hair therapy mask. And these are the ingredients. So this is supposed to be a protein treatment, but it was just super moisturizing. I'm sure the protein also worked as well. I don't need to do a trim, so I am trying to keep up with protein a bit more. But this felt like a moisturizing deep conditioner. I would use this just to moisturize. In fact, I wouldn't even necessarily just wait to use it as a protein treatment because it was super moisturizing. I also love that this is a she scented deep conditioner and I have like a lot and I'm heavy handed. So I have a lot left. So I like how her new deep conditioners, first of all, they're a bigger size. And I love how a little goes a long way. So just that experience of using a she scented deep conditioner and having a lot left, that was yay for me. So you can see that it's not really running. So it will run a little bit, but it's not like pouring out. So it's definitely a bit thicker. I love that it. it was creamy, moisturizing, my curls were popping. Again, I'm gonna show you the footage.
everything and I can't even say it's like my new HG just because all of her deep conditioners give me that same reaction but I love the pomegranate pear I love this one and I guess you know with a little going a long way and it being amazing definitely I'll be repurchasing this as well along with the detox so this has the usual she said did light fruity scent I didn't notice that much of a scent on this scalp detox so I guess that's good in a sense it would have been nice maybe to have a little mint or something just something to help you detect it but yeah I didn't have much scent it could have a it has a slight nice scent but it's definitely not a fruity scent it could be just like minty or something like that it just went on like a conditioner but did the clean thing plus club my curls like this was an all the way win for me so I'll definitely be getting this again I'm not going into details on the ingredients just because they're all amazing. The key of this line is like aloe vera juice, passion fruit extract, and the flaxseed oil. Of course, this also has activated charcoal, and this also has some protein. So the mask mentioned that I should use the cream rinse after. I didn't feel like I needed to. I didn't feel like I needed moisture even after the charcoal. Definitely didn't need moisture after the mask. But the mask said to use this rinse after and I had it so I was like, okay, what the hell, I'm going to use it. So I can't give you much of a review on this just because my hair was already moisturized to the max. Like there was nothing this could do to, you know, up it. But my hair felt great after using this as well. And of course, the mask had great slip and this had great slip. Let me show you the ingredients. This is a little bit thicker, I want to say, than a lot of her conditioners or some of her conditioners. So it still moves, but it doesn't move like whoosh. So she is kind of starting to make some thicker products. I don't know if some of y'all wanted that. Like for me, as long as it penetrates, I'm good. But I actually like it being a little thicker. So I don't like super thick like Shea Moisture, but I actually like that these are coming a little thicker. I'm probably going to have to try this again and then come back to you during my seasonal stash with like how this works, maybe just by itself as a rinse out or something like that. So definitely check out my seasonal stash videos for like, you know, some more insight because sometimes when I don't get to something in a review, I might come back during the seasonal stash and let you guys know. Yeah, so far everything is love, love, love. Continuing the love train with this. So I was a little alarmed when I first pumped it because like, it just went flying out so I was like, hmm, maybe this is extra runny. So it is runny in a sense, but it also looks white and thick and it also is super moisturizing and defining. So it doesn't feel watery by any stretch. Even though it's runny, it does what it needs to do. So I was really happy with this. Again, like I said, it's like the typical things, but the main thing to note about this is that it's glycerin free, which is great for me because I think this is the first she scented leave-in that I've used that's been glycerin free. I can finally use she scented leave-ins year round, so I'm super happy about that. Also going to be repurchasing this. It does have beet sugar that's more film forming and less stripping and harsh weather than glycerin is. So I'm definitely here for it. I loved it. It smells a little fainter than a deep conditioner, but I would say it's probably going in that same light fruity and yeah, it moisturizes my hair and defines my hair really well. This could be this could be up there as my new favorite leave-in from She Center just because it's glycerin free and I do feel like it's a little bit richer and creamier than the previous leave-ins from She Center that I also love. This flaxseed line will be seeing me again basically, but I loved everything so far. And now we're gonna talk about the one that I didn't love to the max which is the passion fruit and flax curly finding jelly 
So this is one that I really had no business buying. I mentioned to you guys in my Black Friday haul. I go buy ingredients. Ingredients rarely ever do me wrong. Maybe one in a thousand times something will look good in the ingredients and not do me right. The ingredients said no, but I really wanted to try some she sent a gel, so I'm like, I'm gonna try it anyway. So the main ingredient I don't like in this is carbomer. I don't like carbomer gels. They tend to dry out my hair. Like if I'm using Eco Styler and stuff, I use a cream like Camille Rose whipped aloe butter gel. And I use the oil and everything to try to counteract that dryness and that kind of ashy feel it gives your hair. But I wanted to give this a chance. I wanted to keep hope alive that this could be a new, you know, Camille Rose curl maker or Uncle Funky. Like it could just be up there with the botanical gels. But definitely for me, even though it's a curl defining jelly and even though it looks the part, the carbomer in it definitely told and it wasn't super moisturizing. Whenever I use a carbomer gel, I put it on wet hair because I always do my washing goes on wet hair. And then it's, it sucks the water and next thing you know, my hair is not wet anymore. I have that same experience with this. I will say the best gel containing carbomer that I've used is the Alodia cream gel. So that one I want to try again when she ever finally has it available so she even she we live in maryland we both live in maryland so she even offered to meet me up like in bowie or something for me to grab some so i might do that if by next black friday i can't get my hands on it but i'm still hoping to be able to get my hands on that to try it again but you can check out my review this one wasn't the best so i can't really be mad at it for hole and stuff because it says it's a light hole so you can see Definitely my hair is big and fluffy. I love big and fluffy. I don't even mind big and fluffy. I just wish that it was a bit more moisturizing. Not to say it dried out my hair, but it didn't add moisture like how I expect like curl maker or you know things that have like that profile of humectants and so on to really moisturize. It didn't do that for me. Definitely due to the carbomer, that's the ingredient that I stay away from. Let me show you what's in it since I'm talking about it. So it has everything good, <laughs> everything good except for that carbomer, which we talked about at length. So I saw the pectin and everything and I saw, you know, the aloe and the marshmallow root and the beet sugar and I was just hoping and I really wanted to be able to do end to end she sent it, so I wanted to find the she sent it gel, alright? But this wasn't quite it for me. You know, I don't see the shine, like my hair has a natural shine, but this is, is giving me that kabama kind of ashy look and feel to it. So it's not even so much that it's dry, like my hair isn't dry at all, it's just not that moisturized, yummy feel that I like to feel when I put a botanical gel on it. So I have a kind of really, really, really high standard for gel. So let me see, how many gels do I like? Uncle Funky, Camille Rose, Baskin Bloom, Kinky Curly. Caraveda and as I am Yeah, that's six. And I can name like a million leave-ins, a million deep conditioners But I can name six gels that I like. So my standard for gels are super high. My hair has to be moisturized. My hair has to be defined. My hair Can't be too heavy, too weighed down, too flaky. I like big hair and my hair has to last a week and it can't be crunchy um, It can't be dry. It has to look shiny. It has to look real. You know? Yeah, my standards are up there. So for me this didn't quite make it but i would say that if you don't have a problem with carbama like you love your eco styler you love your whatever else is out there with carbama definitely give this a try my hair is just really picky about that the other thing to note here is that it's meant to provide a medium hold so let me show you the description so for me there are three properties of gels i mean in terms of the gel properties of course you want to be moisturizing and everything but in terms of gel properties there's the clumping, 
there is the hole and there's the cast so for me medium hole doesn't shouldn't be saying anything about the cast or saying anything about the clumping you should be able to have a medium hole gel with great clumping and no crunch hole for me is just how long it's gonna last clumping is like how much it defines your hair and cast is how much you can feel it on your hair basically in my dreams i guess if i was president medium hole gels Okay, even if it doesn't last a week, we'll still have you looking right and tight for at least half the week, let's say. And would have no crunch and would define your curls. So, I still have definition. So, it's frizzy, but the definition is definitely there. So, I can't say that it's not defined. And, of course, my hair is kinky, so that's why it's frizzy. But if you had silky hair, you probably wouldn't have any frizz or anything with it. So, I have like one curl that is not kinky in my hair. Well, not one, but... I have like one big one, one big silky patch in my hair. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, this is a this is it here. <laughs> so so this is still defined and it actually feels soft and it's still shiny and all that stuff because that's just the texture. But if you need a gel to like soften and add shine and define and whatever to make it look like this, because so, this can look like this if I use the if I use the right product, but if I'm just using leave-in or something, then this is gonna look like this, and this is gonna look like this. So this is basically my leave-in only look. So I'm not sure that I would buy a gel, go through the process of applying a gel, because for me, adding any extra product is more time, more energy, and has to be worth it. So I'm not gonna add a gel for it to look like if I didn't add gel. I love my no gel look. As you guys know, I've done a lot of leave-in only and conditioner only wash and goes. But I wouldn't add a gel to make it look like I didn't add a gel, if that makes sense. So I'm definitely going to rock this. It's definitely not going to last me the week. But I may redo this in a few days just to give it that. I might put some Uncle Funky or something because that's like the vampire gel. If you're looking for something that's going to make your hair look like day one forever, which I typically hate, but which comes in handy when you're traveling, then Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic is a great choice. So it smells similar to the leave-in and deep conditioner, that light fruity scent. So from the time I saw the texture, I was like, ooh, this is alarming, this is concerning because it's not very slimy. You see, like, it's just staying, staying back. It's not slimy at all. So I was like, the fact that it's more, it's not that slimy for me means that it's not one of the more supernatural ingredients. So I don't consider cabamon to be a natural ingredient. So I know something else kind of went into this gelling than pectin and xanthum and things that tend to moisturize because those are humectants. I think it dried pretty much similar to how it was wet, meaning that I do have some definition and it's also big. So my hair isn't dry. I would say my hair is moisturized. I would say I have definition. Um, it's definitely big and voluminous. I do love the ingredients minus the carbomer. I do have one other gel from her that doesn't have carbomer, which I think is the Elipi or whatever, Elip um, butter gel. So I'm gonna try that one. Next, I have the pomegranate and pear one which also has carbomer, so mm, that one I might take, I might try later on in the year. This is the only one that I definitely would not repurchase, just for my hair. But again, if you like carbomer or your hair is more silky, definitely give it a whirl. I definitely have a lot more of this, so I am gonna probably use it again and try using a bit of oil over it and let you guys know again. So I don't wanna say I didn't like it, I would just say it's not for me. I didn't, I don't hate it, and my hair is still moisturized and defined. For me, it just looks like a leave-in or conditioner only wash and go, so I wouldn't go through the extra step on my hair, basically. So that's it, I know a lot of you got the flax line. I know I probably stole this gel from someone else, so I guess that's payback. But if you've tried it, let me know what you thought. I think overall this line is a winner, for sure. Let me know what your favorite she said the products are, because most of her products are bae for me. I love them. <laughs> Let's talk she said to my ass down below. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you in your next sale buying, I guess. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.